Hello, how are you? Uh, today I'm gonna show you how to create a thumbnail slider on WooCommerce, a single product template uh, by using uh, the script that I use on the previous videos, uh, which called a splide GS. I'm gonna uh, what I'm gonna to do is uh, I'm gonna use this script to make the layout of here this is my standard uh, widget for a gal gallery product in bricks here I'm gonna change the thumbnail here uh, this is a grid uh, layout I'm gonna change this to layout like this so it's basically a slider where you can click the thumbnail then it will change the uh, big image above the slider here so as usually uh, let's include the file the javascript file and css file yeah, the best way is to upload on your own server but for this tutorial I'm just going I'm gonna use uh, the the external file from this uh, website <coughs> let's uh, copy this and let's add to the a custom code then we're gonna change this to the URL of the file uh, here. we're gonna use the minimize version just copy the link and replace here nice then Okay, I'm gonna include the CSS file here and change the part of the files uh, slide min here scope link address and replace okay let's save first and let's see how the HTML template that we need to run the script. Okay, then here, here is the basic structure of the JavaScript uh, sprite JS. We need to this slide item and the parent of the element which has a sprite list class name and the parent of it which has a sprite uh, track class name then this is optional to initialize, initialize the javascript code let's see how the HTML structure on the product gallery widget here see we have a list item like this we need to add a class name sprite list to this then uh, we need to wrap this list uh, by this element with a split list, split list class name and wrap the split list element with the split track element here there so uh, how do 
with that we do that there is no option here to create a html structure but as usual as the previous video i'm gonna use the jquery script to create this element so it will uh, show up in here above here the code i'm gonna use is <coughs> is this actually i have tried it before so i'm gonna i'm, I'm gonna just uh copy the code that i uh, i'm not write the code i found it on the stack overflow site but i forget which site which article that i'm use i'm just copy here eh, sorry okay just copy here So this is the code I use to create the uh, a thumbnail slider using slide a uh, JavaScript here. So this is basically uh, the script will wipe the element um, until it loaded fully loaded and uh, waiting for a second for a couple of second after that after this a uh, gallery image loaded then we will then the, the script will run so the script is basically uh, this will uh, wrap the flex control nav item here it will create a child of this element with split track and the class split list because we need the two element here and then the second code here it will add the class name to the element here it will add the split the split slide that we need here to this lee to this list, uh, list of item here then after the struct the requirement of the structure is created then we then the the, the the fourth script here it will execute the it will initialize the flex control nav here to 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 make a a, a, a split js run so let's check this out this is the structure of html before the script executed then after we add this script here Let's load. It will create here. It will add the slide track, add the slide list element, and then add add the slide slide class name to the list of item. So the layout will look like this here but the layout is still messy we need to configure a little by changing some css file not change some css file but just add some css here so it's like this we need to 
change this display grid to something like no. Just copy over here. Then let's add the CSS right into the widget here. Let's reload, reload, refresh. And this is good, I think. <laughs> the arrow is above the image. I think the arrow should be around here in the middle of the slider. So let's see the here. Is this is the slide arrow? How about we add the position to relative because it's displayed arrow uh, it has an absolute position I think here I just the slide so we need to add a position relative to the parent of the element so let's use copy here and press here and reload here okay I think this is good and how about the layout uh, on the back end or on the builder this is that's something I I'm 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 not really uh, the structure of the front end and the back end is different so uh, if you wanna make a layout on the builder look nice you just need to create a custom CSS here uh, because if if we add here there if we add a column here set the column here there will be no change to the the the, the look the layout on this uh, widget but uh, I heard that on the next version of bricks uh, the developer will 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 make the the HTML structure uh, they will assimilate they, they, this this the, the bricks uh, back end will have a same uh, HTML structure with the front end here. So for right now, I think uh, it uh, it will hard to create to to make uh, the back end and the front end uh, has a same layout. I will leave it as like this uh, because I only need uh, the look for on the front end here. Uh, as usually, I will uh, apply this code on my GitHub. You can uh, copy the code from that from there and apply it on your project. So, thank you for watching. If you have any question or any sub suggest sub suggestion, just uh, write a comment below. Thank you.
and see you on the next video.